Hey expats and travelers alike, today we're here to talk about expat life in Jalapa de Enriquez. So you don't have to feel overwhelmed by trying to piece together information and finally get back to doing what you enjoy doing the most. Now we've broken it down into three parts, moving, living, and working. I'm Josh with Expats Everywhere. And I'm Kaylee. And our channel's mission is to bring you one step closer to your dream move by providing city profiles, expat interviews, and personal vlogs from an expat family. This is our city guide. Let's start with moving to Jalapa. The city is situated east of Mexico City and isn't too far from the Gulf of Mexico. It's the capital of the state of Veracruz. Jalapa actually has two different spellings, one with an X and one with a J. The city has around half a million residents in the city and about 800,000 more in the metro area surrounding the city. It's known for its beautiful rolling hills which provides great views. Jalapa doesn't really have a huge spike of expats, but the city is an amazing blend of rich Mexican culture and the vibrance of a university town. There are actually loads of universities in the area, but it's not just a party city. On the other hand, it's not like a retirement community either. It's an energetic city that offers lots for singles, couples, and even families. There aren't loads of expats who live there, but this is a hidden gem that gives you a lot more of a local feel rather than being in an expat community. That being said, you can still find familiar stores like Walmart and Costco, but this is a great city to get outside of the expat bubble and integrate into local culture. The weather is extremely moderate, with the highs being in the 70s and maybe a bit in the 80s Fahrenheit all year round, and lows not getting below the 50s. January is generally the coldest month and May the warmest month. Expect rain mainly between the months of May and October. June and July tend to be the wettest months, and there's far less rain in the winter. Since Jalapa is not overwhelmed with expats, the housing market is great. You can find good deals for buying. It's not necessarily a place that is seeing appreciation in the housing, but if you're planning to move there, you can get a great bargain and live comfortably. The city isn't sprawling, but if you want to be down in the mix of it all, then look for housing downtown. If you want a view, then check out housing up a little higher on the hills. We'll chat more about landmarks and the cost of living in the Living in Jalapa section. But first, how did we get here? Now, if you check out our community tab page, it doesn't look like Jalapa won, but as we've explained in the past, if you're a patron of ours, then you can vote on our Patreon page, which counts for more. This tipped the scales to have Jalapa be the winner. We've been doing city guides chosen by you from the alphabet and X was pretty tough because there aren't very many cities worldwide that start with the letter X and even less that are actually expat destinations. Jalapa de Enriquez is the winner though, so let's get back to living there. Like we've mentioned, there is a strong presence of universities which makes for some beautiful architecture. The city is actually known as the Athens of Veracruz. Culture is far from lacking in this town as you can experience museums, theaters, but something definitely to note is what's happening on the streets. There's anything from street art to musicians to clowns, their street performing presence is strong. You'll get to see the famous Fandango dancing on the streets. There are plenty of parks and greenery as well. I want to dance the Fandango. Lots to do. There are a few notable landmarks that you might want to live near or at least spend time by. Parque Juarez is lush and a busy social hub as it's quite central. Jalapa Cathedral has a beautiful design with a clock tower that actually came from England. Callejon Diamante is a busy street with many cafes. It has a bohemian feel and is known to be a bit more artsy. Jardín de Escolturas is a sculpture garden with a mix of national and international sculptures. How about the food? Well, Jalapa is actually famous, but most people probably don't even know it. This is where the jalapeno pepper came from. So everyone knows those, right? Mm. Now the name of the city is starting to make a little more sense, huh? Absolutely. They use a lot of maize in their cuisine for food items like tostadas and a variety of pastries. They also eat a lot of chicken. You most likely see lots of the same ingredients used in dishes just repurposed. Well, we've talked a bit about housing and location and food, so let's break down the cost of living on these. A one bedroom apartment in the city center costs around $240 a month and outside of the center it drops to around $140 a month. A three bedroom in the city center is close to $450 and outside it's close to $265. Basic utilities are around $40 and internet around $25 a month. So prices are very affordable for renting. Like we mentioned before, buying is also extremely affordable. For sure. A meal at an inexpensive restaurant can be had for about $4 and a three course meal for two at a mid-scale restaurant will only cost you around $18. Domestic beer is around two bucks and a coffee will run you about the same. So we can see the cost of living is low, but wages are low as well. We'll get more into that when we get to the working in section. 
Transportation is cheap, but traffic is awful. A lot of this is due to infrastructure not being up to date. It's very slow downtown, so consider living in a walkable area. There is public transportation, but it's just by bus, so they get stuck in the traffic as well. It's not so bad if you're outside of the downtown area, though. It's only about 50 cents for a ride. Yeah, you're paying 50 cents, that's cheap. <laughs> Taxis are another option that are affordable, and again, you could have traffic issues. You'll notice that taxis are white and green, and something to know is that they most likely won't use their meters, so be ready to negotiate. This is where knowing a bit of Spanish will come in handy. There are public and private options for healthcare, but expect simple services. If you need a scheduled procedure done, you most likely will want to head to a bigger city. Now let's get to working in Jalapa. As you can imagine, there aren't many job opportunities here. There are Mexican government jobs if you're in that industry. Since there are lots of universities, going to Jalapa to study is a great option. Other than that, you'll really need to work digitally or be retired. There's just not much of a demand for work there, and the locals take up the jobs at places like stores and restaurants. So it'll be really difficult to move to the city and then try to find a job. We want to stress that it's best to go there with a job either secured, a job where you can work remotely, or savings that you plan on living on. The cost of living is low, but like we said before, the wages are low as well. Now something interesting about Jalapa and their economy is their flower influence. That's right, flowers. They also have a nickname of Flower Garden in Mexico because the climate is great for growing flowers. They also produce coffee and tobacco here. These help Mexico's economy. So as you can imagine, there's a lot of lush land outside of the city center that allows for these types of industries. It's still hard to break into these types of work though because these jobs are for the locals and even if you do work at one of these, expect low wages. So really your best options are studying, working digitally, or living off of savings. Knowing the culture is important, so a few things we want to note is punctuality for them is quite fluid. Don't expect hard start times. However, addressing someone properly is very important. Knowing Spanish is important, and they do have some great language courses there. The city is vibrant and artsy, but expect to be a bit of an outsider because there's not a huge expat community. There are two more city guides by the alphabet left for this year, so head over to the community tab page now to vote for what city you want us to do that will start with the letter Y. And click here for some more awesome information about Mexico, and click here to see what YouTube thinks you should watch next. Don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you on our next city guide show. Bye. Let's get moving.